Hey guys and welcome back to another Unregined Force tutorial. Today is once again a nice, quick and easy one. What we're going to be doing is a dynamic health bar in which the colour of the bar is going to change based upon the player's health. Now this doesn't have to just be health, it can be any progress bar you want and it's just going to change dependent on the value inside of that progress bar. But again, in today's example it's going to be health. It'll also work for stamina or again anything you want. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So you see at the bottom of my screen I have my health bar which is green, if I press 1 just in this example that's how I'm taking damage, if it goes down to a certain point it's going to go to an orangey brown colour and if it goes even further it will go to red. Now again what I'm doing is a very basic system for taking damage so in an actual game this would look a lot better and you can obviously choose better colours for you as well if you want and it works the same for healing as well essentially when we reach these values on our progress bar it's going going to change the colour. Now what I've done is I've sort of done it in thirds. But again, you can do this as many times as you want. So you can have many different colors with many different partitions and you can have different points for deciding when the color changes as well. And again, to what color you want. So this is what we're making today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we obviously want to open up our HUD or our widget in which the progress bar is in. Now, if you haven't got this ready, you can right click, go to user interface, get a widget blueprint and open it up straight away. And you'll have a widget like this. Then you want to drag in the progress bar and that is now your progress bar in your widget. But I imagine you already have all that set up and if you don't I do have many other videos where I do that in more detail as well. So once you've got your progress bar in here and set up how you want, so again I've got mine at the bottom of the screen with this size going from left to right with a default value of blue but obviously I'm going to change that now. So once you've got this set up what you're going to do is scroll down until you find the fill colour and opacity under the appearance here. Then we're going to hit bind and we're going to create a binding. What I'm going to do is just delete the previous one I used and now we have this get fill color and opacity binding here. I'm going to move the return node out a little bit like so so we can use this empty space here. Then we need to get a reference to our character or basically the value in which we're going to be using for our progress bar. So again I'm using the health so I'm going to get my character reference, drag out this and get health from the player because again I want to be doing this based on the health. Now if you don't have a reference to your character, you can go to the event graph and off event construct, so you can cast your character, right click in that and promoting it to a variable like so, but again I imagine you probably already have this set up, so you can actually do the percent for the progress bar like so. But let's get back to the fill colour and opacity. We're going to get our value like this. Then we just want to run a few checks to determine where this value is and based on that value what colour it should be. So I'm going to move this back out a little bit, drag out of my health, and I'm going to get a float is greater than a float. And this is going to be for the first bracket on the first colour. So I want this to be in thirds, but again you can do this as many times as you want. But for me because it's in thirds, the top third is going to be anything above 66. So it would be 66.66666 recurring obviously, but I'm just going to go with a round number of 66. This is then going to go into a branch, so hold down B, left click to get a branch with that as the condition like so and true is going to go into the return node here. I'm not going to do anything with the return node just yet, I'm just going to have it there like so and we're going to set up everything else first. So next we're going to drag out the health again, this time we're going to get a float is less than a float and this is going to be for the middle bracket or the next bracket along for you. So for me that's going to be anything below this top bracket, so 66, so I'll have it as less than 65. Well you can also keep this as 66 actually because that's greater than, this is less than but you could even have this as 67 and then we're also going to drag out health again and get a float is greater than a float this one for me is going to be 33 because again that's the other third and because I want it to be both between these values so it has to be greater than 33 and less than 66 I'm going to use an and boolean like so connecting both into there so both of these have to be true for this to return true so if this returns true, we need to check that in a branch. So we're going to hold down B, left click to get a branch, with that as a condition, and the execution of this branch is going to be false of the previous branch. So what it's going to do is it's going to check to see if the health is above 66. If it is, it will set that colour. If it's not, it will check to see if it's between 33 and 66. If it is, it will set that colour. If it's not, it will go into the next check. And it will so on and so forth for as many different checks as you have for all of the different pricings as well. So what we need to do is actually set up the different colours for this. So to have more than one colour, what we can do is just select the return node, Control C, Control V, and now we have another return node. 
So we have another place in which the code can exit, so we can input another color into the return value. And then again, I'm gonna do it another check for another value. So I'm just gonna select the less than, greater than, and branch and return node, copy and paste via control C, control V, like so. Again, false of that branch is gonna go into this new one we just placed down, connecting in the health into the greater than and less than as well. This one is then gonna be less than 33 and greater than zero. I'm just gonna move this down like that. And I might move these up to be there, just to have this look in the, a little bit neater and more organized. So again, what we're doing is just checking these values and it's setting the color out of the return node based upon where the current health value is in between all these different checks we've got. So if it's greater than 66, it's the first color. If it's less than 66 and greater than 33, it's the second color. And if it's less than 33 and greater than zero, it's the third color. So now we also need to set the colors, which is gonna be as easy as just clicking on the return value and changing the color to the one which we want. So again, you can choose much nicer colors if you want, but I'm just gonna go for green, orangey brown or yellowy, and then also a red. These are just basic colors which I'm choosing. Again, you can obviously pick much nice ones if you want. We'll compile and save that. And that is all we need to do. It's nice and simple. So again, all we're doing is getting health, checking to see where the value is, and then changing the color based upon that current value. So if we close this, we can hit play to test this out. You see that it's gonna be green because it's above 66. If I press one, I'm gonna decrease it until I am now below 66. And if I keep decreasing again, I'm now below 33, so we're red. So we're red, I increase above 33, we're now orange or yellowy. If I increase even further, we're above 66 and we're now green. And you can see we can keep increasing and decreasing this, changing the colors based upon the current value. So I think that'll be it for the video, which we've done everything we want to do. As I've just gone over, we've set it up so the progress bar is gonna change colors based upon the current inputted value, which again for me is a health progress bar. So if our health is above 66, in my example, it's gonna be green. If it's then below 66, it's gonna be orange. And if it's below 33, it's gonna be red. But again, you can change this and customize it to get it perfect for you and your game. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.